I promised her, and for some reason, see, I've got a young niece uh, named Kira, and uh, I was talking to her about this uh, wonderful gathering here. And I wouldn't expect from a five-year-old to actually remember and uh, stop her mother uh, sort of um, um, hanging uh, the, the call that, uh, that we had on FaceTime to say, eh, Manos, uh, you promise you're going to like film that thing for me? And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. And I didn't expect uh, or I didn't uh, hope to have that recorded. So uh, here's that's, that's one for Kira. Um, I have the privilege of knowing Manolis, uh, uh, who we share the, our first name, uh, or versions of our first name, uh, uh, since a few days uh, past, uh, uh, before his 42nd birthday. And that's a lot of time to appreciate him as a human being and as an uh, instigator of great things. Um, I feel... Uh, I have to say, I felt at the same time about 42 reasons why I shouldn't have appeared in front of you today, uh, sort of uh, uh, because I haven't, uh, I'm probably in the very small minority of people who haven't authored something groundbreaking or uh, uh, sort of uh, went through the pains of a PhD yet. Uh, but since um, myself and a few other people sort of got together one day and thought, right, this is chaos around us and, and we want to make something out of it, especially coming out of the Greek crisis, is let's find the most positive thing that people give meaning through uh, in Greece. And that is a... Uh, um, that epitomizes the action that philosophy represents. And as it happens, if you were to be in the English uh, dictionaries around the world, it would be uh, it would be spelled in a way that would bring it right under philosophy in the dictionary. Um, so that word is, in a sense, the sumum bonum of uh, life. You know, w what is life? Uh, what is the best? What is the good life? And, and what should one do or, or, or what pains should one endure in order to be able to uh, commit to that good? First of all, know what that good is and then commit to actually uh, what, what Lucy just said, you know, the action sort of uh, element, you know, bridging that action gap. And, uh, you know, as, as a sort of unlikely academic uh, but laborious uh, and uh, laborious, uh, nevertheless, uh, that I am, uh, we decided to go on the phenomenology of things. And so we've asked about 6,000 people on the meaning of that word, uh, or, or on that principle, cardinal virtue for Greeks. And of course, you know, we, we've invented chaos, you know, and, and so you would expect that we wouldn't have settled on our minds or even on that concept. And you would be very right. We've had, I mean, 6,000 definitions and, and uh, we, we're working through the algorithm of those in a thematic analysis, but we, there were so many different things. I mean, if I may use the, the board since I, it's, it's already been charted. Uh, so the word is this. And uh, philotimo, which means love of honor. But uh, I would say it's also love of meaning, uh, because uh, when, it, when it started off uh, from the times of Pindar uh, or Homer, it, was a, it, was a, it had a bad press. It meant that people were too uh, ascribed to a particular meaning uh, that led them to the detriment. Uh, Ulysses famously uh, thought that he didn't get his uh, money's worth, as it were, you know, after fighting all those wars and being the best warrior of, uh, uh, of the uh, uh, um, Aegean sort of uh, um, army. And uh, he decided not to turn up for work one day in battle, and then that messed things up. You should read it. It's a, it's a bestseller. And uh, so it up to the point where we have famously Pericles in Athens talking about Philotimo and bringing it in as a concept and saying, it's actually a good thing, Philotimo, because we can decide what that love of honor, we can decide what that honor is and, and who is... Uh, deserves that honor. So in a sense, he was, he was talking about, or he was setting the foundations of an epistemology that was to create the basis of uh, 
Western civilization, dare I say, or, or certainly democracy, in that it sort of said that if we all decide in an open way that what is, what is that value, what is that element, what is that uh, sort of axiom that we can circle our lives around, and this can be an open source, then w we've got things to be optimistic about. Um, so I don't want to take too much of your time talking about things Greek, because I'm sure that would be an overkill, given you know the uh, main premises of uh, our, our gathering. Um, abbreviated in a word, and this is like a Greek, uh, I shouldn't be surprised, surprised to you that a Greek is sort of thinking this way, but abbreviated in this word, there are the main sort of four areas that determine the wealth or, or that, that sort of chaos and that give some, that chaos some order. And the first is, could be philo or, or uh, filial or, or the love of or the friendship of or the, the adoration of. And, and this comes to uh, talk about the chaos perhaps between two people on the human level. Then we have uh, locus. We have location, locality. We have the sort of physical uh, uh, dimension of where things happen. Perhaps culture might be one of those uh, dimensions. And then we move on to time. And time is a messy, uh, sort of already a messy uh, subject and how we sort of manage ourselves and, and what draws us as axioms and, and uh, uh, areas of worth when it comes to time is definitely a challenge. And the final bit is uh, monad, perhaps, or mna, uh, as, he, as, as, as uh, it was the first measurement of uh, weight or, or worth in ancient Greek before the drachma. And it basically means something that you've established to have value, arbitrarily, almost. Some, some might say that that monad is God. Uh, so... This is work in progress, and uh, I'm, I'm not doing a very good uh, job in sort of uh, condensing it into meaningful uh, chatter. But I would like to end up with a, uh, uh, a wish for our birthday uh, gentleman. You know, his, his name means in uh, Hebrew, Emmanuel, um, God is among us. And uh, I think I'd like, I'd like to give a twist to that, uh, in that uh, good is among us. And maybe through that concentration and countering entropy, uh, I think we have the ability now to uh, condense that chaos, to be able to give temporary order to that chaos. Uh, consider it as an open source, as an open code that will help us live content, fulfilling, uh, just lives uh, within ourselves, but with the, with, the, with the other. And it will give people like Kira perhaps the chance to uh, solve that riddle in the future, or definitely not have to uh, escape, evade, or uh, uh, yeah, fail again at answering that question. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Any returns?